Let's solve 2x squared plus 18x minus 20 equals 0 by completing the square. Most people hate this method of solving equations, but hopefully by the end of this, you won't find them too bad. When completing the square, you want to get the x squared term on its own to make it easier to solve. And because here we're dealing with an equation, we put an equal sign, we can divide the whole thing through by the coefficient of x squared, 2. So let's do that. You get x squared plus 18 divided by 2, 9x, minus 20 by 2, 10, equals 0. Now, we want to get the x terms on one side and the constants on the other. So let's add 10 to both sides. You get x squared plus 9x equals 10. Now, when completing the square, it's kind of like you're factorizing this side over here. So we're going to put brackets squared, and we're going to turn our x squared into an x term. And then we're going to write half of the second value and ignore the x. So half of 9 would be 9 over 2, because you're just dividing it by 2. Now, if we expand this, we want to get back to x squared plus 9x. So let's just see how that goes. So expanding x plus 9 over 2 squared, you get x squared plus 9 over 2x plus 9 over 2x plus 9 over 2 squared. 9 over 2x plus 9 over 2x is just 9x. So we've got x squared plus 9x plus 9 over 2 whole squared. This doesn't exist up here, so let's subtract this value from our factorized brackets. Minus 9 over 2 squared. That's equal to 10. So this is equivalent to this. This is always going to be the case. You're going to write half of the second term and then subtract that value squared. Now, let's rearrange the equation to get 9 over 2 squared onto the right side by adding it. x plus 9 over 2 squared equals 10 plus, and now square the numerator and denominator, you get 81 over 4. Now let's simplify the expression, you get x plus 9 over 2 squared equals, this would become 40 over 4, that would be 121 over 4 when adding them. And because we're solving for x, right, so we want to get x on its own, first thing we can do is square root both sides, since we're going x squared up there, so x plus 9 over 2 equals plus minus, don't forget that square root of 121 over 4, subtract 9 over 2 from both sides, that's x equals minus 9 over 2 plus minus, and we can simplify this third because both 121 and 4 are square numbers. Square root of 121 is 11, square root of 4 is 2. So now, either x is minus 9 over 2 plus 11 over 2, so that's equal to 2 over 2, or just 1, or x is equal to minus 9 over 2 minus 11 over 2, which equals minus 20 over 2, which equals minus 10. And these are our two solutions to this equation.